Yo, 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 you sound whack. <laughs> morning, Angela Yee. Good morning, DJ Envy. Charlamagne the God. Peace to the planet. What's happening out there? It's Friday. Friday. Yesterday, you know what? Yesterday, I, I talked bad about Charlamagne. Stop the music. Oh. I talked bad about Charlamagne. He didn't want to come to my, my wife's baby shower. And I was. I thought it was your baby shower, too. Oh, it's mine as well. But I was so nasty to Charlamagne. I said, Charlamagne, to make this up, all you have to do is buy the stroller. And guess what? New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, the room. Guess what he did, Yee? Nothing. He bought the stroller. I don't think he bought it. Yes, he did. How you know? Because he, who else would have bought it? It's eleven hundred dollars. You bought it, Charlamagne? I don't think you should tell people what you bought from their registry. See, if he, I did buy it, see, see, gonna, that's so my, that's a no. That's my bro. He bought it. He that's buy that that's my bro. Thank you, Charlemagne. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, how was everybody's day yesterday? My day was good. I actually did a Power One Hundred Five thing on the Carnival Cruise Line. I've never been on a cruise before. Well, you didn't go. You didn't leave. So you... I know, but I've never even been on a cruise ship. Oh, you've never been on a boat. Okay. How was it? It was in a... <laughs> You didn't go anywhere. It was just on the docks. So it couldn't have been that fun. It looks like it would have been a great time. Right. I can see why people go on cruises. Okay. So shout out to everybody that was on the Carnival Cruise. And then I had a bunch of meetings and I went home and hung out. I'm going on a cruise this year. Are you? Yeah, the uh, Norwegian. I think it's the Norwegian. They have this new cruise ship. This boat, they just built it. This boat have Cirque du Soleil shows on there. It's supposed to be the biggest best ship ever. I always thought it would be dope to like have a cruise and for like in cruise film watching they put Titanic on. That's not funny. I, I, did, I thought that's that would not be dope. That's nah, not that funny be at cool. all. I wouldn't want to see that. Why? It's just a movie. No. Nah. Why? True story. That's like going up on a plane and seeing a, a plane, a, a movie. Final about Destination. Yeah, you think you they don't show flight on the plane? No. You don't think they show Denzel flight nope, on plane? No way. Okay. Nope. 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 But how was your day? Charlamagne? Uh, I don't even remember it, man. I, I swear, when I wake up in the morning, I don't even <clears> remember what happened yesterday. What happened you yesterday? You got to do better, my brother. Come on. I just don't remember. I had like a meeting. They go to the gym. That's about it. Okay. okay All a blur. Last night, I was at the Key Club in the Bronx. I tell everybody that came out there. And the Palace, Palace in Jersey, was rocking last night. But let's rocking. get the show cracking. F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S will be joining us at 7 a.m. So we'll kick it with Fabulous. We'll ask him anything that you, everything that you possibly can imagine. Like why he did Emily Dirty. And loving hip hop. You are not going to ask him. Absolutely. That. You remember the last scene when there was like, yeah, Fabulous is coming for the family photo and he just never came. <sighs> and we're going to ask him about that. We're going to ask him about music, all that good stuff. So I'm Fabulous will be joining that. us at 7 o'clock. Also, you want to hang out with Beyonce in New Orleans? Well, we got your way in. But right now, keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Let's go. 614 is Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now, don't forget Floyd Mayweather's going to be hanging. Oh, Floyd Mayweather. Fabulous will be hanging with us at 7 o'clock. This is Fab's first time up here, right? Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. All right, so Fab will be here at 7 a.m. Now, we got our front page news coming up, Yee. I do have an update on you uh, for you for Ariel Castro, the Cleveland kidnapping suspect. And I'll tell you how much he's being held for and about the note that he wrote when he was about to commit suicide. They gave him bail? Yes, they did. Can you oh, believe yeah, that? I mean, something's wrong. That's with crazy. Cleveland, y'all have the worst law enforcement, worst police officials, worst judicial system in the history of America. They gave him bail? Come on. Who gives this guy a bail? A guy that's kidnapped a bunch of girls, held them for 10 years, raped them repeatedly, and he gets a bail? F out of here. I might give y'all another donkey. They didn't give Gucci Mane bail. All right. Well, we'll see if you think he can make this, uh, pay this bond. That's crazy. Cleveland, y'all Cleveland, y'all law enforcement sucks. We'll find out when we come back. Keep it locked. This is the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Let's take a quick look at Dunkin' Donuts traffic report. George Washington Bridge, minor delays, Lincoln Tunnel 5 in. Holland Tunnel 10 in, and Tabasee Bridge looks pretty good. It's Power 105. One is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Let's get in the front page news. Let's start off with sports. Last night, Yankees beat Colorado 3-1. Mets beat Pittsburgh 3-2. Uh, the Rangers, hockey, and our playoffs, they play tonight at 7.30. Miami plays tonight at 8. And the Knicks play Saturday night. Now, you can't ban butter. They trying to ban butter, ye? Well, they actually have already banned butter. They say butter has been banned from school cafeterias since 2008. But people haven't really taken target at it, so... Now they are. There's an aggressive crackdown, and at schools right now, in cafeterias, they are not allowed to use butter at all. And this is not good for all the, the cooks in there. They're saying, we understand the need for healthy meals, but we do not appreciate the administration bullying our members without giving them instructions on how to prepare meals. The administration basically is telling y'all that they're tired of y'all fat folk. Yep. Okay, they tired of y'all getting fat and obese and taking up all the seats on airplanes. They are tired of it. So there's no more sugary sodas, no more bake sales, no more greasy french fries. 
and now there's no more butter. Even now, the school is all effed up now. Like, if a kid is having a birthday party, you can't bring in cake, you can't bring a cupcake, you got to bring Carrots. vegetables or fruit. What's wrong with that? That's really not effed up, because you see all these young kids having heart attacks, these young kids having their arteries clogged. Nah, young when ages. I was a kid, we had cake, we had cupcakes, we had ice cream day, we had all those, well, that good stuff. Well, times have changed. It's, it's no reason for a 15-year-old kid to be having a heart attack. You're right. Especially if they're not having no, no signs of heart problems or anything. Okay. You're right. The world, okay. Listen, the world is not built for fat people. I just what are you supposed to butter. use instead of butter? You can use a little bit of butter, though. You know, butter is like kind of a, a, a bagel staple. with butter. Oh. And you wonder why you got breasts. I don't have breasts. Grown ass man with breasts. I want to say breasts. the, I wanna say the T word, but Somebody I can't. Somebody asked me if I'm envy as a pregnant woman. I said, no, his wife is having a baby. That's funny. Envy <laughs> can breastfeed, though, with them things he got. Envy's <laughs> lactating. <laughs> You guys are funny. Now, give me the updates in the Cleveland uh, kidnap case. All right, let's talk about the kidnapping suspect, Ariel Castro. Now, he made his appearance in court, and he's being held on $8 million bond. Oh, all right. See, they should have gave him no bond, but when they give him something like that, he ain't coming. He ain't coming. Well, they didn't give Gucci Mane bond, but they're going to give him bond? Yeah, but $8 million is a ridiculous bond. He ain't got that kind of bread. Now, Ariel Castro actually had a suicide note that he wrote back in 2004, and they have obtained that. In that note, he said, I am a sexual predator. I need help. He t talks about abducting women, and he said, I don't know why I kept looking for another. I already had two in my possession. So this is after he already had two and had abducted the final woman, Gina De Jesus. Uh, and, you know, absolutely sick. And they are going to press charges for each and every act of sexual violence, rape, each day of kidnapping, every felonious assault, all of his attempted murders, and each act of aggravated murder that he committed by terminating all of the women's pregnancies. Oh, he's done. So it's going to be thousands of yeah. counts against him. Life as he knows it is a risk. App. And you know he had his own kids, and his the his daughter's cousin said that he would actually perform physical tests on his own daughters to make sure that they were still virgins. Mm. What kind of physical test do you perform on a girl to make sure she's still a virgin? Probably it's disgusting. I don't even want to talk about it. Thank you. And that is your front page news. Thank you. I mean, once you put no, stop man. it. Thank you, Miss Yee. Now, let's get into telling why you're mad. If you're upset, you need to vent. 800-585-1051. Maybe somebody pissed you off. Maybe you just don't like something. Maybe you're just having a bad day already. Tell us why you're mad. 800-585-1051. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Good morning. Yo, it's the dog, DMX. You pissed off? You <laughs> mad? Call 1-800-585-1051 on the Breakfast Club. Power 1051. Breakfast Club, bitches. Hello, who's this? Envy, this is Nicole. Good morning. Nicole, tell them why you're mad, mama. I'm mad because they let the other two brothers off with a misdemeanor, and they get this jerk bell. It didn't get a misdemeanor. They actually got cleared of all charges. I guess they didn't really do anything as suspected. Yeah, they they cleared. Um, that's bull doodle. They knew what was going on. It's like I, I don't understand the law of justice. It it really sucks. I mean, maybe I'm they really didn't. Mad. Yeah, maybe they didn't know what was going on. For His real. own daughters didn't know. I'm sure if they were sexually assaulting these girls, the girls would have said something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, make sure y'all sing y'all song today. I can't wait. <laughs> you, might, you might get some goon tunes. Hello, who's this? I'm a say sergeant from the army, and um, I just want to tell him why I'm mad. Why are you mad, Mama? I work with all males. They all complain all day, every day, and I'm the only female on the team. And I just hate it every day. It's just crazy. Okay. Well, you know what you should be doing? No, don't what? tell her that. You, don't, should be, don't. you should be showing them what that mouth do, though, to nope. relieve some stress. Uh, and they, should be, they should be showing her what that mouth do. Okay, is. it can work both ways. To release, everybody needs to be relieving stress and tension on those long, stressful days. Yeah, um, no, I won't do that. But I'm in charge of most of them, and they complain all day, every day, and it's just retarded. Because they stressed out. Give them a hand job or something. No. No, oh, not goodness. there. Do Thank your you, work, mama. girl. Handle your business. Cherie, tell them why you're mad. I'm mad because I love listening to you guys every morning, but I'm eating my breakfast in the last couple of mornings. When you're talking about this jerk, I can't eat. It, it just makes my stomach turn. Yeah, Isn't it sick. the most disgusting Very story sick. you've heard? Yes. Mm. I agree. Well, I'm sorry, Mama. Try to eat your breakfast and listen to us anyway, okay? You, okay, thank you. You, you probably need a diet anyway. Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch your portions. 800-585-1051. If you're upset, you need to vet. Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. <laughs> Hey, 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 yo, hey, yo, good morning, yo, this is the Mad Rapper, son, for real. I'm mad, I stay mad, I stay angry, I stay heated, I stay pissed off. Tell him why you mad. Breakfast Club, Power 1051, let's go. Tell him why you mad, Rick. Man, man, I was dealing with this girl about a year ago. She got pregnant, told me she got rid of him. Now she just called me up talking about she having twins, man. Oh, yeah, you're having twins. Good job, man, your sperm's splitting, too. That's Amazing. awesome, that's so rare. Now, Rick, oh, that's crazy, man. Rick, tell him the truth, tell him it's your side chick, it ain't even your chick, it's your side chick. 
Yeah, it's, it's my side chick. That's what I'm saying. Like, congratulations. How do you know it's yours? Congratulations. So, uh, well, you know, I'm the only dude she's dealing with. Supposed to be, she's blowing my phone up, calling everybody I know, talking about they my baby. So I guess we'll find out what these kids are born. Right? Well, this is what you do. You, you get a blood test first, find out if they're yours. If they're yours, and you got to go to wife and tell wife, you look, baby, I'm leaving you. Don't even give her a chance. Don't even give her a chance to leave you. You leave her first. Nah, she, uh, she, she's showing me wife ain't going nowhere. She okay, knows. you had twin oh, by another chick. Oh, you're twins by the side chick. Right. She might be done with she you. Going, no. she, done, she done. Nowhere, it's over. And if she nah, not over, nah, I'm, I'm a banger. I'm, I'm, I'm making too much money out here. She ain't going nowhere. All right, you ain't gonna right, have that man. money soon. You got two other kids to take care of. Damn. Where do you work at? I'm in corporate America. What? Doing what? McDonald's is considered corporate America too, sir. I'm making good money out here, man. That means you in the street hustling, yeah. but it's all good. Make sure my hash brown's hot this morning, young Just man. Just be safe. Yeah. All right, take care, fellas. All right, well, tell them why you're mad. We do every morning at 6 a.m., 800-585-1051. Yee. Yes. We got rumors coming up? Yes, and find out all these people are getting fired from their television shows. You thought it could never happen because they're the stars. Well, I'll tell you what two shows are giving people the axe. Stars are getting fired. We'll find out who has no job. We'll have no money for summer when we come back. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105. No hands, baby. Good way to start the morning, ladies. Do that for your man. It's Power 105. One is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's 6.50. Time for the rumors. Let's find out what actors might not have no job, might need some money for the summer. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. The Rumor Report. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. So, the Real Housewives of New York City, they are poised to get the act today. Now, they were supposed to have signed their contract, and they haven't. They actually tried to bond together and say, we all want to raise. They asked for modest increases to cover the cost of their makeup, their hair. Okay. Didn't work out for them. <laughs> Apparently, they're going to get fired, all of them, today, unless they sign their contract. Who the hell y'all wow. thought y'all was? The Real Housewives of Atlanta? And some people are saying, I, I believe it is one of the lowest rated ones Damn. of the exactly. Real Housewives fr franchise. So it's if you don't have leverage like that. Jersey's, I think. Jersey's number one. Yeah. J oh, no, I think Atlanta. No? Yeah, Atlanta is. I thought they said one. Jersey passed. Maybe, maybe Atlanta. Well, I don't know. Those do pretty well. But, mm -hmm. yeah, that banding together. Now, most of the women make about 65000 per season, which it, is not. And uh, is that not enough? That's not a whole lot. That's not to enough. To be honest. Oh, yeah, you're right. How many episodes all? are they? 65000 a season. They're probably like 10 episodes. That's yeah. for the New York ones? Yeah, New York City. Yeah, they're getting rich. Wow. Yeah, There's only uh, one of them. Uh, she makes 500000 and she wanted to make a million for the sixth season, but they refused. But she said, okay, I'll come back anyway. She knows what she's doing, Ramona Singer. Mm -hmm. An American Idol is allegedly going to fire all four judges as well. Mm. Now, they had an option to pick them up for another year. They are not going to pick up that option. And they're also not going to bring back Jennifer Lopez either. They're trying to attract younger viewers. So they're going to make some major changes mm. to American Idol. The way it looks, they're going to repackage everything. I think they should do away with the franchise. All the they can't, man. That's it. They I made so much money with that. They got to let that go until it dies, dies, dies. It is die, die, die. Last I mean, week, they had 11 million viewers. Ratings have slipped down to 20, 22%. Yeah. It's at an all-time low. Yeah, but they still could maybe... The other thing they're going to do is they're going to stop paying all those up. huge salaries they've been giving people. You know, no more Mariah Carey, 18 million, Nicki Minaj, 12 million, J-Lo, 15 million. They're not going to do that anymore. And a lot of those shows, like X Factor and The Voice, are just better than American Idol now. Yeah, that's why they're going to try to repackage it. Randy Jackson has announced that he's leaving the show for good at the end of the season. So... You know, could be by choice, could not be by choice. But he said, I'm very proud of how we forever changed television and the music industry. I'm sure they gave Randy the, uh, the they have enough respect like, for Randy to let him announce he's yeah. leaving and set a fire. Yeah, he's yeah. been there from the beginning. Yeah. All right. And Terrence Howard, speaking of things being over, his divorce is finalized, finally. Mm. And he got a lot. He's getting both houses in Pennsylvania, all 25 of his bank accounts. Now, she has been ordered to return his Range Rover that she's been driving around. She gets to keep her bike and a BMW. That's it? Yeah. See, that's some light-skinned nigga stuff, man. You're going to take all the houses. Yeah. You're going to take everything and leave it with a car and a BMX? And he has to pay her 5800 a month for the next three years, and that's it. That's for spousal support. it? <laughs> he must have had some type of prenup. She must be crazy. She must have did some foul-ish that he got. Sheesh. Yeah, he probably slept with a dark-skinned guy. That light-skinned guy couldn't handle that. That'll and work. That is your rumor He's report. I'm Angela Yee. judge. Probably the light skin judge that sided with Terrence. Why not? Stop it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Miss Yee. Now, coming up next, Fabulous will be here. That's right, Mr. F A B O L O U S. You want to holler at Fab 800 585 1051? We'll find out what happened in Love and Hip Hop, why he never showed up when Emily and the family wanted to take that family photo. Why wasn't he there, Fab? That was foul. Also, about his projects. Is that your albums. man? Why are you yeah, we're going to ask him on there. We ask everybody everything, right? 
Fabulous when we return. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105. Let's take a quick look at Dunkin' Donuts traffic report. George Washington Bridge, 15 minutes on both levels. Lincoln Tunnel, 10 minutes in. Holland Tunnel, 5 minutes in. Tabasi Bridge, speed limit back to 55 miles an hour. It's Power 105. One is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now, this next guest, he, um, I'm kind of upset with him right now. What? Why are you upset with him, man? Because he wore leather sweatpants. And now Charlemagne just keeps wearing them. Charlemagne yeah. has a white pair of leather sweatpants <laughs> yeah. that we might have seen. He saw you. And, and, he saw and, and, and you. And actually, the same designer that made Fab's made mine. Yeah, but yeah. Fab could wear leather sweatpants. Not you, Charlemagne. Yeah. Fab's a little cooler than me, you know. A I little cooler? A lot cooler, you know. I, I can't walk around in leather sweatpants. They make me sweat, Fab. I feel no, like I'm on drugs. It's not an always walk around kind of thing. It's kind of like where you want to be casual, but you want to have a little flash at gotcha. the same time. Well, Fab, you have a style fan right here. <laughs> yeah. Charlemagne. But you inspire a lot of people's fashion style. I mean, that's what I wake up to do, you know what I mean? If I could get Charlemagne <laughs> to step in. Can you help him? That would be great. If you could actually consult Charlemagne. Yeah, and I could do that. Fix him up for a week. I could do that. <laughs> Introduce him already. Andy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fabulous. Yo, yes. What's up, what's up? Low so. Fab, he's a virgin to the breakfast club. This is your first time up here. It is, right? And is I feel like we've been, haven't we been, aren't you guys have some type of friendship or yeah, yeah. not really? It, made, it came up under the same camp, Desert Storm. Did you used to yeah. DJ for Fab? Yeah. yeah. Fabulous was my first radio interview ever. Really? So 19, okay, no, 2000. Year 2000 in Charleston, South Carolina. So, yep. How did that go? I was mm-hmm. a little less talkative then, though. I probably was a little like, mm-hmm, yep. Off the air, though, he was like, watch, I'm about to sell five million records. I'm going to take over the game. I'm going to be the next dude from New York. Watch me. Watch me. Mm-hmm. Speaking uh-huh. of opening up, you know, Twitter kind of really showcased your personality to people. Yeah. But then it's like you fell back from it after a while. I had to fall back a little bit. A little bit Twitter fell like you know wasn't as big anymore and then also too like a lot of the people like you would joke around with on twitter they was a little sensitive i mm-hmm. guess they they didn't take the jokes as well so yeah, a lot of know. artists you got it you got into it with uh, Jim <laughs> yeah, Jones some, for a little bit and some some people artists. though they took it as jokes you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and some people it just was just you know nonsense not that you scared or anything not that anything was going to happen but it's just extra blog and every time you go somewhere they actually you know, you got a problem with soldier boy you're like nah man you know what i'm saying so i just kind of didn't want all of that every time I'm moving around somebody mm-hmm. asking me about another artist and yeah, tweets you know what I'm saying that's what ignited your beef with Ray J really Twitter yeah that, <laughs> that semi did it are you cool a little you? bit of it was some whatever he took that night that you know <laughs> are, you, are you cool <laughs> do you feel safe and now he said I he punched you in your eye hold on we need to, do you feel nah, safe yeah, Fab he, you feel safe in the streets I mean, Ray J's out here now I still ain't apologize you know he said that he told y'all that he you said know. you were calling to apologize we were, are you here to Apologize. Yeah, yeah, you come here to apologize. All I'm saying is, if you got a fab number, tell that n- to send a picture of his face right now. I still got the black eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got the shades on. Like, I don't want to All right, Fab's here. 800-585-1051. I want to know how he felt when he when he heard that call from Ray J. When we come back, it's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Fabulous is here. 800-585-1051. Now, let me refresh your memory. You remember when Ray J called Wild It Out? Let's listen. Ray J got beat up. I shot that n- in the face, my n-. I swear to God, he running from me right now. He never left the club. He was scared up in there. He tried to call the police. How crazy was that for you, man? What that was, was worse? What was worse? Them saying you know, you it's funny. You know Boy, you laughed. Was... That was the funniest. And that's still one. That, like, goes down to, like, Tupac Classic. interviews. Like, yes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you can listen to that today, and it's still going to be funny. Like, it's, it's hilarious. But did you feel like you was on punk or something? Like, I'm, why, why is this happening to me? Now, it's the crazy part is I was in Vegas, right? So I'm, like, three hours. And while I'm in the club, that's when he called y'all. I'm the, I hit you though. I hit you when you was in Vegas. You was like, I'm in the club right now. Yeah, I was in the club and he was, I guess, somewhere still in Vegas, turned up to. Right, he was and turned he called up. Y'all, Cause mm-hmm. it was like 4 a.m. there, but it was 7 a.m. or something here. Mm-hmm. So I went to sleep. I woke up. My phone <laughs> is on fire. So I'm like, yo, what happened that, oh, that fast? And then I just, you know, listened to the interview. I was dying when I heard this. Like I He was, was so, yo, we believed him for a little bit. He was like, I'm first in this. But no, you know, I'm going to tell you what really happened. Clue could save this. But I was in Vegas, and I had just left Vegas and came back home. I was on my way to work, and I get a call while I'm on my way to work. You know Fab and Ray J just got into it. And this person, I'm not going to name who, who it was, there was a snitch, mm-hmm. was like, yeah, yo, you need to find out what happened. So I, name the snitch. Mm-mm. 
I want y'all to still be friends, you know? Uh, I'll tell you, I can't remember his name. That sounded so unbelievable, though. Like, Ray J and Fabulous. I know, but then when you called down here. I don't even here. like that. Like, I, 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 I hated that that was, like, attached to me. Like, nah, I, you know what I'm that, was, like, that was classic. Not to, like, it, it was just like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> said, we gonna come down here. I'm gonna put Charlemagne in the car. And I was like, nope, I don't want no problems. I gotta walk these streets in New York. I've been hearing about street family for years. He got some classic lines. Classic. Like, yeah, he's he's Godzilla, they gonna some go on his booty you and all that. Like, on you. They gonna rape that, <laughs> that over and stick it in that. All right, all right, all right. Oh my god! Oh my god! Right. He did all. It was. It was just a lie. And you know what? And I've never said this before, but there was one thing afterward that they called and asked us to take out of that interview. Yeah. Yeah. One thing they said: Can you please not play the part where he says the names of the booty goons? So oh, we took yeah. their names out. Yeah, oh, yeah the names and, of the booty goons. Yeah, yeah names. They will remain oh, names. Name the booty goons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Tata Delicious, Jet oh, Juicy. Names of the booty goons. Yeah. That would get out. <laughs> we named the booty goons. One named Pinky. Oh, it was man. bad. Who are the booty goons? <laughs> <laughs> so you working on, you got the new album coming? Low Souls Way 2, Rise of the Power. Why Rise of the Power? Like, you know, you feel like you haven't risen yet? Nah, I just feel like, you know, you grow. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that's, you know, in rising, I guess you, you, you would consider that going up. And I think I've grown, you know, since my last project, you know, as a man, as an artist, mm -hmm. as a father, as a friend, mm -hmm. as a breakfast club member, you know. Yeah. I think I've grown, so you know that's what the rise into. Power. I've always felt you've been very consistent, like with everything that you put out. It's always been like big hit songs on all of your albums, but I've also always felt like Fab should be way bigger mm -hmm. than what he is now. Do you feel that way? I think so. I kind of just do what I do. I'm not, you know, beating down people's door for credit, or you know, I don't do like a Kanye rant when I don't get what I de think I deserve. I kind of, you know what I'm saying? I just take it in stride and, you know, hopefully, you know, like you said, like people recognize the music and I have fans and, you know, I have a bass and I've been doing this for a long time. So I appreciate what's given to me. At the end of the day, I was a kid from the projects, man. And I'm nah. Like, you know, but that must be a Death Storm saying? thing because I've heard Envy say those same words verbatim. I mean, if you got a team, that's different. But, I, I, you know, you see certain people compromise themselves and chase people around. And, you know, I mean, maybe sometimes I get the thing I'm too cool for school. I, I tell them that thing. all the time, though. You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's what, a, a thin line. networking? There's a thin line between nah, being there's persistent There's a thin line between and, it, though, man. Exactly. There's a line between where you just doing too much and, you know, all right, that's my homie. And I think throughout this time, I don't think nobody has seen me doing too much. You know what I'm saying? All right, Fabulous is here, 800-585-1051. When we come back, we got to talk about love and hip-hop. Why didn't Fab come to that family photo? It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Fabulous is here. Now, Charlemagne? How have you remained relevant all these years? Because you still, like, you know, you've been in the game a minute, but you got, like, a young, you're, you're young, you're a young veteran. You got a young energy around you. I'm an old man in this game, man. I, somebody called me, like, an OG the other day. I was like, damn, that's when you know you old, and they start calling you an OG. I feel like I'm one of the few artists that's kind of, like, grown up and, you know, as an artist, grown, like, you know, I, how you look at Rudy now. Like, you know, you seen Rudy as a little girl. <laughs> Rudy. And, and, you know, now you see Rudy as a woman. You be like, wow, you know what I'm saying? And you remember, you know, all the stages of her growing up on the show and everything like that. So I think that's kind of how I am in hip-hop. Is there any reason why you never got into love and hip-hop? Or you never um, on the show? I just never was into that kind of showing of my personal life. It wasn't about denying, even though that's what I guess the show me. It made, made you look it, like, like they're waiting for you. I think the last thing they were waiting for you to come. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, where, like you know, where's Daddy? And he's not coming. Emily played a tiny part in that because you know, of course, you being involved in it, you play a tiny part. But I, you know, those shows they they do what they got to do to make the scenarios and mm -hmm. make it drama filled, and you know, make women go ah, mm -hmm. make women be mad at you. So you know. With me not being involved in the show, too, that was also another lane for them to be like, well, we're going to do stuff to make him want to defend himself okay. or come on the show. Just, you know, I, I never was going to be a part of the show, so I don't know why they had set up a scenario like I was coming to any photo shoot. Yeah, it made anything. it seem like, like you wasn't you know coming to any, you know, yeah, family, family photo shoot without you. Family photo shoot. Daddy's not coming, is he, Mom? Yeah, no, that, it was crazy. sad. You see Emily with the wine in the apartment all by herself. They're playing like, Lost Without You instrumental by Robin Thicke. <laughs> 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 it was bad. Raindrops falling on the windowsill. Yeah, because they was trying to lower me in, man. <laughs> you almost had you. On the low, they were calling... Turning the channel, <laughs> turn the channel? Yeah. Yeah, they was calling that show All Fab's Old Chicks. Does the show like that make you appreciate your woman more? Because you see guys tweeting about it saying how good she looks or, you know, she thick, whatever, whatever. Charlamagne came in here talking crazy about her the other day. I did not. What's did I say? Crazy about my lady? I did not. Say, yo, Emily, look right. Oh. I'm not going to 
going to say it as explicitly as he said it. I didn't say it explicitly. I said, yo, Emily look good. I saw Emily look good. Never mind. See that? Is there anything in your career you wish you could have changed or did differently? Um... You know, because of you, uh, nobody can spell fabulous correctly in the I room. know. I'm like, whenever I see it with that you, I'm like, they spelled that wrong. Yeah, they spelled it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's F-A-B-O. You be better. arguing. It it's F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S. <laughs> it looked better with the O. That's why I changed it to the O. Why did you do that? Was that a mistake or did you really purposely say I'm going to spell fabulous? Well, one it has a better ring when you say F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S than F-A-B-U-L. It just didn't, it just didn't have the same mm -hmm. ring. And I wanted to make difference in a name versus the word fabulous. And truthfully, Fabulous was never my name as a rapper. Clue really made a mistake and called me Fabulous Sport. <laughs> Fabulous Sport. And yeah. that became my name. So what was your name before? I was like, I was in the process of figuring really it out. figuring my <laughs> name out. Because my initials were J, but I knew I couldn't be J. Because of Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? So it was just too close. You know, I'm from Brooklyn, and it just was too close. So I was trying to figure that out, and then he came with that. And then at a time where you were trying to figure out your name, why not just take something that kind of stuck or somebody gave it to you? So what did the name? So one, hold on. So one day Clue just goes, "You look fabulous." Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I said it in a rap. I said it's the F A B O. Like I was saying, I was the fabulous vocabulary. Oh, got you, got you. Something like that, and he took uh, that. Fabulous as my name. vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. And what did the name Spins Funny come story. from? Because everybody calls you Spiz. Spiz came from um, Sport. In my hood, they used to call me Sport, too. So I think Spiz came from a shorter, you know, some one of these kids in the hood that don't can't say Sport and just say Spiz. Oh. And the next thing, you know, that was a new nickname for me. <laughs> it's fabulous. When we get the album now, what's the name of the album? album is called Loso's Way 2. It's coming in summer, man. It should be, you know, between June and July. I'm just finishing up the last of it now. Mm -hmm. The Breakfast Club is Power 1051. It's F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S. Fabulous. <laughs> What's so funny? I just like doing that. Oh, it's my evil voice laugh. Do it again. No, it, is it turn you on or something? What you mean, do it again? I don't know. Come on. You got a little fat around your chin, my G. You might you need to do some push ups for real, a little running or something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, nah, for real. I ain't gonna lie. You start, you start to look like one of these old DJs out there, man. Oh man. You better stop. Oh man. You got a little oh, fat around man. your chin, man. You better stop ordering so much bacon in the morning. I ain't had no bacon, man. Oh, you had a bagel with mad butter. That's why they try to ban butter now because of your double chin. Shut You're up. too skinny to have a double chin, my dude. Shut up. <laughs> this guy right here. Hey, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth, man. No, you're not. Nah. Room is up next. Uh, keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club of Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's 750. Let's get into the rumors. Somebody's exposed. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. The Rumor Report with Angela, Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Well, guess what? If you didn't know this already, a lot of athletes cheat. And Jalen Rose actually exposed some of the steps that ball players will go through to make sure that they keep their side chicks away from their wives. Here's what he had to say. These guys are professional athletes. They understand that their wife may be sitting in this section, so you got to get tickets for your girlfriend in a section on the opposite side of the arena. These are things that are standard, <laughs> man. Mm -hmm. Normally, the family section tickets are it's behind the bench. Behind the yeah. bench. Uh -huh. So therefore, miscellaneous section the jump off has to be on the total opposite side. But just because you leave girlfriends or jump offs or roll kill tickets, you can't leave them post game passes. Mm -mm. That's the that's mistake. one of the mistakes mm -mm. that young players end up making. I love Jaylen. the fact that he referred to them as roadkill. What? <laughs> Jalen exposing all these because dirty he, be, secrets. Because he's probably married now. So now that he's married, he want to put his jersey up in the Raptors and don't worry about the guys that's still out here hustling on the block. Now mm. you want to tell how us tell the secrets of how we doing it. Oh, so we as in you? You're no pro athlete. I'm just talking about men in general. This don't, this don't got nothing to do with athletics. It's got to do with men. Okay, well, let me tell you why I brought this up. Because there was actually a house that NFL players used to use to cheat on their wives. They all had a house that they went to. So what bum-ass NFL player want to be a snitch and reveal that address? No, I'm going to tell you how this all happened. This is the NFL players Mike Sims Walker, Brandon Marshall, and Chris Johnson. The three of them had to admit that they had a house. They used to have affairs with women without their wives and without the media finding out. Who they had to admit that to? The reason why is because there was a shooting mm. that happened that was linked to this house. It had nothing to do with them, but uh, one of their cousins actually ended up getting shot, 15-year-old girl. And so there was an investigation, and that's how the house got exposed. So they had to come forward and admit, well, we use this house to bang out chicks so that our wives don't find out. Mm. So mm. that mm. is crazy mm. that you would have a whole entire house dedicated to that. We used to call that the honeycomb hideout. Now, speaking of cheating, 
Let's talk about John we used to. Legend. Yeah, we, we used to. We call it the honeycomb hideout. Women, that's what they used to call when men used to have their little cheating spots. They used to call it the honeycomb hideout. Oh, I thought you were talking about that particular <laughs> place that Chris Johnson them had. I'm like, how the hell no, no, you no. know? <laughs> no, no. People I mean, used to have those, though. wonder why you get all them shoes. In Brooklyn. You stupid. I buy my shoes. Yeah, you. All right, now let's talk about John Legend. Mm -hmm. He allegedly got caught cheating. Now, this is according to the New York Post. No. What was they his said name? that uh, John Legend. You're stupid. You're stupid. Stop it. <laughs> was at Acme, and that's on Great Jones. I used to eat there all the time. And he was in the bathroom. They said he was partying with some male friends. Oh! Stop it. Stop it. Hold on. Let me finish. finish. You're foul, yo. <laughs> he started up a conversation yo. with two pretty girls in their late 20s. And they said after chatting all night. A witness said the blonde got up to go to the bathroom, and John followed her and then pulled her into the bathroom with him, and that was it. They had a steamy makeout session. They were in there a couple of minutes, and that was it. Nah, that but was more fun. It with women. his fiance Chrissy, actually went on Twitter, and she said, At John Legend, my tummy hurts, and I think it's the chicken you made me last night. Are you trying to kill me so you can be with your bathroom girlfriend? Damn. And then she tweeted him, When do I get one of those Vanessa Bryant rings? Damn. Mm. But I guess she's trying to be funny. I don't yeah, think she joking. believes it. Yeah. yeah, she has that kind of sense of humor. Okay, and that is your cheating rumor report. First of all, John Legend. I mean, John Legend seems like too much of a gentleman and a scholar to uh, sleep with some chick in a bathroom at some spot. I can see him doing that. Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell the story I know about John Legend. St Yee. Damn. No, all no, right. No. Thank you, Yee. Charlemagne. Yes. Donkey today. Who are you giving it you to? Know, Donkey of the day today is more of an intervention. But it is an actual hee-haw, but it's more of an intervention. I want to talk to Adrian Broner, man. Adrian Broner, the congregation would like to have a word with you. Yeah, he would definitely bang a chick Adrian in the bathroom. Broner, yes, he would. Adrian Broner is an up-and-coming welterweight fighter who I believe has the potential to be, you know... And you want to give him Donkey Floyd today? Mayweather. Yes. You haven't been too smart recently. First, you gave Gucci Mane Donkey today. So you want to give a boxer? Listen, this is an intervention, okay? Right. It's nothing wrong with Call it what you want. All right, Charlemagne goes Shame in on it. Adrian Bona when we come back. And Adrian Bona, if, you, if you listen to Adrian Bona, Charlemagne's about to get... Tune in. Tune in. You might want to be at the station at 804. All right, it's the Breakfast on Power 105.1. Good luck. Let's take a quick look at Dunkin' Donuts traffic report. George Washington Bridge, 25 minutes on the upper level. 20 minutes on the lower level. Lincoln Tunnel, 25 in. Holland Tunnel, 15 in. Tabasee Bridge, speed limit's back to 55. And this <laughs> I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. For the donkey of the day. That's pretty funny. Charlemagne the devil? Possible. <laughs> the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Yes, donkey of the day for Friday, May 10th is an intervention of sorts. It goes to up-and-coming welterweight boxer Adrian Broner. Now, I feel... If there's anyone who charismatically and personality-wise can be the future face of boxing after Floyd Money Mayweather, it's Adrian Broner. But there's certain things I see Adrian Broner do that make me question him. One is seeing rappers like Meek Mill tweeting about him being drunk. And the other is this video that I saw on Worldstar this morning with Adrian Broner saying what he's going to do to Paulie. How do you pronounce Paulie's last name? Malinaji. 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 When they fight on Showtime June 22nd. Let's hear it. You know what I mean? You know I got this fight coming up against Paulette, world champion, for now. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm gonna knock you the f*** out and put you on world star June 22nd. What the f*** wrong with you, man? This is what I do, man. I world star fools. I am the world star king. Blah! I'm gonna come in the ring like I got AKs, nines, and all type of straps on me. I don't know if I hit you with the right, you might go to a coma. If I hit you with the left, you might die. Adrian Broner, you are not a rapper. Okay. Oh gosh. You you are not Ace Hood. You are not Meek Mill. All that blat, and you got AKs and all kinds of weapons. Young man, relax. Scared me. You don't have an album coming out. Wouldn't you rather be on pay per view than World Star? There you go. That's my next point. <laughs> Great legendary fighters have dreams of knocking yeah. out their opponents on <laughs> HBO pay per view or Showtime pay per view. Fighters who aspire to be rappers and live the rapper lifestyle aspire to knock their opponents out on World Star. I love World Star, but come on, Adrian Broner, threaten to put your up and coming opponent on World Star. That's what <laughs> niggas do. Not world class fighters. Adrian Broner, you need to understand your thoughts become things. Your words become your actions. If all you're thinking about and speaking about is knocking and knocking out people on World Star, then that's what you will be. But if you are aspiring to be as great as Floyd Mayweather, you must stop getting drunk and stop making silly ass videos sounding like a rapper threatening to put your opponents on World Star. You need to be about three things hard work, excellence in the ring, and money. Now when I asked Floyd Money Mayweather about Adrian Broner and his behavior outside the ring, he said this. Oh, Adrian Broner, he's a young kid on the rise. Only thing he has to do is listen, take his time, and these young fighters, they want the Floyd Mayweather life 
but they got to be able to handle themselves like me outside the ring. They want the same thing in and out, so you got to be able to conduct yourself the same way inside and outside. Exactly. Give Adrian Broni the biggest hee haw. You don't see uh, C- Canelo Alvarez out there acting like that. That's why he about to get that big ass payday by fighting Mayweather. I did just see Zab Judah act like that. Uh, uh, prime example. All oh. right. I wish you luck, Charlemagne. All right, listen, I ain't a sucker like you. All right. Okay. Then you're going to be a sucker to get knocked out. You're right. But guess what? I'm going to still wake up and still talk the same stuff I'm talking now. No teeth. And? But <laughs> right after tuck my t- tuck my penis in between my legs like you. I say I never tuck I my penis. I never tuck my penis in. Well, you guys can tuck each other's penises in between each other's legs, okay? <laughs> Let's move on. So Sunday is Mother's Day. <laughs> Speaking of tucking penises in, Sunday is Mother's Day. Do you want to apologize Whoa, to your mom? What are you talking about? Do you want to apologize to your mom for anything you've done? Now, there's a lot of things that I'm sure as a kid, and V. Charlemagne, myself included, we've done that our moms have no idea about, and now it's the time for you to confess what you've done and apologize for something that you've done. I've got a million things. Oh, man, my parents listen to me. So what are you going to do? You're going to apologize when we come back? All right. Angela Yee is going to apologize when so we come mad. back. 800-585-1051. Power lines are wide open. If you want to apologize to your mom for anything you've Remember done. Remember that time I crashed the car? Call us up right now. It's the Breakfast Club of Power 1051. Come on. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's 821. Now, this Sunday is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Also to the dads that raised their um, child. Maybe there's no mother around. Now, question. We're opening up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. If you want to apologize to your mom, we're going to give you that opportunity. Now, Angela Yee, you said you've done some things to your mom that your mom doesn't know about that yeah, you might know. just want to apologize for. So start. Well, I'd like to apologize to my mom. When I was in high school, I used to have sleepovers all the time and all my friends would come over. And we would all sneak out and go to the club and then we would come back home after my parents went to work. You think they didn't know that? Sorry, mom. They might. They never said anything. We did it all the time. What about you, Charlemagne? I don't have any because I used to get caught all the time. I used to get caught sneaking out the house. I used to get caught smoking weed. I used to get caught having sex. Of course, I went to jail. I, I, so you're not sorry I've for had, those things, I've whether or not you got caught? I've had police come to our house, mm. lock me and my pops up. So I don't, you know. Lock you and your what? Who you and your pops doing together? Well, he got locked up um, leaving his club. And so they came to the house to search the house because they found a little something on him. So they came to our house. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I was telling my mom, don't sign the warrant. But then they were saying they were going to come kick in the door if she didn't yeah, you should give be them sorry. permission. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. That was my daddy's fault. You should be sorry. Mm. I ain't got nothing to apologize about. My, my dirt is out there. Mm. Well, my mom thinks I'm a respectable young man, so there's nothing to apologize for. I didn't do anything wrong, mommy. You sold your mom the You're dream. You're such That's a good. liar. Life is all about the buying and selling the dream. Envy, you please don't do this. Dream. What? Because we'll make you apologize for something. Nope. Let's go to the phone lines. 800-585-1051. Apologize to your mom, Envy. Jen, do you have something to apologize to your mom about? I'm going to apologize to my mom because I took money on her savings account. I took $6,000. But what? for my defense, it was for my tuition, for my college tuition. You can't just take money out of her account. You a thief, man. You worse than a crackhead. <laughs> crackhead uh, still, you still. Absolutely. Hello, who's this? Yo, this is Cliff. Envy, what up? Cliff, apologize to your moms, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to apologize to mama love and all that. Because at 19, I ain't the man that she expected me to be, but I'm going to definitely make it up to her. Know what, I mean? what kind of stuff are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. I made a, made a couple errors, got arrested a few times, but, you know, I'm changing that for the better. What you got arrested for? Robbery. Oh, Ooh. no doubt. But listen, why you got to talk all gangster when you shout out your mama? Y'all want to shout out my mama love and all that. That's how I talk. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm He's Brooklyn. in Brooklyn. That's how we do. Oh, no doubt. Well, tell your regular. mama I think she's sexy and all that. Peace. Oh, man. Hello, who's this? Yeah, this be nice. I'm not. Hey, apologize to your moms. Yeah, mom, you listening? I have a confession. Uh-oh. Oh, from New York, he shot his mom by accident. <laughs> I mean, when, I was like, when I was like 16 and 17, you had a big bottle of Bacardi in your closet. I filled the cup up to fill it back up with water. Uh, what? you watered down the Bacardi? Damn it, man. Who, right, did, who, you, who, who didn't do that? He hung up like he really... Listen, if you're from Newark and that's the worst crime you committed, you're going to be okay. So. Yeah, that's great. 800-585-1051. <laughs> if you want to apologize to your mom this Sunday's Mother's Day, call us up right now. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Oh. Why are you out of breath, Envy? All you did was run from right there to right the here. Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's 828. I'm not out of breath. Do you want to apologize to your mom? 
Sunday is Mother's Day. Envy, you're the only one who hasn't apologized to your mom, and that's just wrong. This is something you did. Mom, I'm sorry. I maybe confess. Did Angelina, do you want to confess about the cosmetic surgery that you have had? Yes, because you just had cosmetic. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us what you told us behind the scenes. No, shots. I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, she does, Angelina. She just told us that she got butt shots I over the weekend. I never said that. I would never I, do that. For the past couple weeks, I've been noticing Angelina's butt is getting bigger. She has, she's gotten butt shots lately. Butt shots. Okay. So, Mama, My butt is not getting Mama bigger. Mama, if you're listening, next time you see Angelina, just look at that butt. <laughs> She got butt it's shots. the pants. It's because they have elastic at the top. She didn't get that from you, Mommy. Look, <laughs> look at that butt. 800-585-1051. Apologize to your mom. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. And this Sunday is Mother's Day. Do you want to apologize can, can, to your mom? Can we acknowledge that groove theory record and how classic that is real quick, though? Okay. That's just like a breath of fresh air this morning. I just wanted to say that. Shout out to groove there. If they're still alive. Okay. All right, now this Sunday is Mother's Day. You want to apologize to your mom. Maybe you did something wrong. You just never said, Mom, I'm sorry. Well, we're going to open up the phone lines and allow you to apologize to your mom. 800-585-1051. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Oh, we have Shania on the line. Shania, good morning. Apologize to your mom. I apologize, Mom, because I almost burnt the house down. Oh, that's bad. How? What you, you do? You trying to cook? Because I was playing with fire. Oh, my God. How old are you? 11. So you are never going to play with fire again, right? Yes. I did that once. I was playing with fire, and I set the carpet uh, on fire, and my daddy beat me with an extension cord and made me go take a bath. <laughs> and that was one of those my no, mama said. that's not said, good. You cannot burn the house down. It could kill people. The fire could spread to the whole block. Yeah, that was one of those my mama said, wait till your daddy get home. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Nancy. Nancy. Now, you want to apologize? You sound like a mama. Yes, boy. <clears throat> you want to apologize to your mama? Yes, I do. I gave her such a hard time growing up. Mm, then we yeah. all. But yeah, I'm a mother of twins. I got two boys, and thanks to her, I know what it is to be a mom. And all she, was trying, now. all she was trying to do was tell your little hot ass to slow down and keep your legs closed and look where it got you. No, nah, no. Nah, I finished school before I had kids. Oh, okay. I did that. That's how you know she did the right thing. You feel me? No There's doubt. There's not a lot of people who finish school and can say that they got a diploma. You sound like she fed you a little too much, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> a little too much butter, sugary drinks. Oh, That's another thing. My mom was a single mother of four. You know what I'm saying? But you yeah. always ate, though. Hell yeah, we never <laughs> <know. laughs> Oh, my goodness. Thank you, mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. Have a great Mother's Day. Now, Yee. Yes. We got rumors coming up? Yes, and who is the most beautiful woman alive right now, according to Maxim Magazine? Maxim I'll tell you they're talking they, about. I'll tell you that. who they have is the sexiest Woman. They full of S. B S. Right. We'll find out in ten minutes. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Yeah. Say 38 is Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Shout to Ciroc. Shout to Nick Storm. Shout to Eddie Lopez. Shout to Diddy. Shout to Sean Prez. It's gonna be a Ciroc Friday. Today in the mix. I'm gonna be mixing. Shout to Ciroc. So does that mean you're gonna mix every song that shouts out Ciroc? No. I'm not gonna do that, but house party. No. I'm not going to do that, Why but I'm just, shout, I'm just shouting out Ciroc. Ciroc. So then what makes it a Ciroc mix? Well, they brought Ciroc this morning, chicken and waffles and a whole lot of Ciroc. So it's going to be a Ciroc mix. You have two drinks over there. You know you can't handle that. That's why it's going to be a Ciroc mix. Mm. What? This is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You already can't mix that well when you're sober. Oh, my oh. goodness. You just the stabs. <laughs> just keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> we got rumors coming up? Yes, and we are going to talk about, of course, the sexiest women. Now I'll tell you who made the number one spot on the maximum list of the sexiest women. And I'll tell you who you like that might be on the list as well. Alright, that happens in 10 minutes. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Rumors next. Alright, it's Power 105.1. It's the Breakfast Club. Shout to Ciroc again for bringing the chicken and waffles and some Ciroc liquor this morning on this Friday. But right now, let's get into the rumors. Let's find out who's the prettiest girl according to Maxim. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. The Rumor Report. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. So we told you about this previously. Miley Cyrus actually put up her own Instagram talking about being number one on Maxim's annual Hot 100 list. She is the first. Uh, she is the number one. And she said it feels amazing because it was voted on by the fans. I have the best fans in the world. And according to Maxim, she was number one basically the whole time. 
There was no competition. There was no close call. That's BS. I'm going to tell you why that list is null and void. Number one, because Kesha is on it. Kesha looks dirty and filthy. Her whole aura screams, I leave rings around the bathtub. So being that Kesha's on that list, that whole list is null and void. So who should this, be on there? That's the the list is very young because Miley Cyrus is number one. Selena Gomez is number two. Okay, so it's some old perverted men at Maxim. Rihanna's so, number three. Who should be on there that's right. not on there? Uh, I think Melanie Iglesias should be on there. Who's like, that? That's from MTV? She's from Guy Code. Mm -hmm. I think I like the fact April Rose is on there, also from Guy Code. Um, I mean, Rihanna's on there. Beyonce's on there. Katy Perry's number Katie 11. Katy Perry's on there. Beyonce's number 14. Absolutely. There's some hot chicks on there. The Scarlett chick from Johansson. Two Broke Girls. Uh, what's her name? Cat, um... Uh, can't remember her name. But she's <laughs> on there. Mm -hmm. Kat Dennings. Kat Dennings. There you go. Mm -hmm. She's on there. But, you know, Kesha just makes that whole yeah, list. I'm going to tell you who did not deserve to be on there this There you list. go. Say the name. Yeah. And this is what makes this list null and void. Say the okay. name. Manti Teo's fake girlfriend. Oh, no. I thought you were talking about the other chick. What's it's the other number chick? 69 on the list. Who's the chick I asked you about that co-host on that show, Q? Hold up. Hold her what? Cotbeat. Hold a cotbeat. Who is that? Some 70-year-old She's number woman. 79. She looks great for 77. <laughs> and okay. I mean years old, not her place. All right, well, her anyway, list. that's Maxim's Hot 100 list, so you can go check that Terrible out. Terrible list, Maxim. <laughs> All right, and final oh, rest in old. peace to uh, Daddy Mac, Chris Daddy Mac Smith, a.k.a. Um, Chris Kelly. And uh, can I want to I shout out M. Easy. Uh, yesterday, M. Easy. No, don't do it. Don't yeah, do you got to say it. got to say it. got to say it. Yesterday, M. Easy said something about Kid and Play, and he can't believe the guy from Kid and Play died. And he was talking All right, about well, Chris, Chris Kelly has passed away. Rest in peace to him. And... Yeah. Listen to the funeral where his partner, oh, Chris man. Smith, Daddy Mac. You want to play this on a Friday? Actually sm spoke. And you know what? The brat showed up with her jeans backwards. You mean Dupree showed up wearing his pants backwards. They better not have buried that boy with his pants. No, no, no. no, 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 no his pants, pants oh, were not straight, backwards. And um, here it is. This morning when I woke up, this peace came over me. Because I know Chris is in heaven. He was a true friend, you know? So I just want to say I love you, man. I could say crisscross forever. But without Chris, my life, it ain't gonna never be the same. But I'm gonna do my part, though, to make sure Chris' memory live on. Yeah. You, you know, we really could have saved that until Monday. Yeah, hey, I mean, Friday, that's, just, I mean, that's so down on Friday. Well, I'm brother. just telling you God bless them. what's going that on. That was such a downer. It was. And last but not least, you know, I always got to address all these cheating scandals. Well, Kim Zolciak, her marriage to Corey Behrman is under fire. Who's there's Kim some, Zolciak? She's from? From Real Housewives of Atlanta, and now okay. she has her own show okay. with her new husband, Corey. And they're saying that he has been cheating. Actually, this woman, Elizabeth Seward, she's an ex-Indiana Pacers cheerleader, gave an interview saying that she was hot and heavy with him and he was dating Kim at the time she said I want Kim to know about it she put up all the text messages between the two of them and Kim is saying it's not true she said meanwhile my husband and I sit back and laugh so I don't know about this but he, she did put up some uh, text messages where she she went to go visit him and stay with him for five days and then right after that he's with Kim and he did admit finally that he was dating someone else you guys boy y'all got to do better that's why we just got to legalize polygamy. If we legalize polygamy, we wouldn't be none of these problems. I can't okay? wait to see Charlemagne's text messages one day up on a blog. Some chick. What is he going to say? What that mouth do, though? Nope. When you going to let me hit? You ain't going to see no lovey-dovey, emotional connection type thing. Okay? I don't believe you. All right. I've seen lovey-dovey messages. That's a, yeah, that's a devil damn lie. <laughs> I ain't even bring, I'm not even going to bring God into this. That's a devil damn lie. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hard Rock, when you really are a gem. Um, that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, up next is the Baby mix. Girl. Now, don't forget, in uh, three minutes, you can win tickets to hang out with Beyonce out in New Orleans. If you need that in your life, that happens in three minutes. But today's mix, we're going to start off with Ja Rule. He just came home. He's under house arrest, so all he can do is listen. He can't do any interviews as of yet, so he's just going to be listening to us. Shout out to the homie Rule. Ja Rulezy. I'm going to do that for a little bit, and then after that, we're going to get into a little Mother's Day mix for all the a moms A Mother's out there. Day mix? Yes. Hmm. Okay. All right. So Shout out to all the hoes that's mothers, too, man. We see y'all. Y'all don't never get enough credit. Happy Mother's Day, Aunt V, Vivian Fox. Envy. Envy, Envy, Envy. What, 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 what? Envy. What? You got to stop with the Ciroc Mother's Day Ja Rule mix. I mean, Ciroc just came on the wrong day. You got to... You better stop playing Friday. Ja Rule, though. I, Can I, you do something a little more upbeat? He been stop playing This is for the moms room. out there. You want to say happy Mother's Day to your mom? He did the press me with that. A lot of people, a man. lot of people's moms like you know more current music. <laughs> I'm just dedicating some songs to the moms. <laughs> a lot of people's moms is hoes and they want to pop that. Can you do that? Oh Can God. you do that for all the moms as hoes out there? Yeah, for all the moms as hoes, <laughs> pop that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Go right now. Go. No. Can you do some home mind no, music? No, man. It's, no. Listen, it's whole appreciation no, Mother's listen. Day. No, no, the the no, definition no. of mother has changed. Like, There's a lot of hoes, a lot of ratchet um, moms out here. A lot of these moms is ratchet. That doesn't make it right. Can you do bands and make a dance for Absolutely. Mother's Day? Absolutely. There you go. Bands and make a dance for the mothers. God dang it. Come, Come on, on now, Envy. Um, bands people, will make these whole ass mothers dance. A lot of moms got their Think kids. Think about all the girls you ran crazy on go. in high school. They moms now. Yo, shout out to all the moms out there. Dancing for some bands. Shout out to all the girls that got trains ran on in my high school and now they mothers. We see y'all. All right, that's enough. I'm not going to play bands and make a dance. That's for you guys. This is the last dedication to all the moms out there. Shout out to all the mothers out there that raised their child, didn't leave their child at home to go get drunk and all that crazy stuff that you moms do sometimes. What, you want to say something? No. I'm okay. just listening. You know what I'm I mean? just dedicating this, this last song to all the moms out there. Now, I'm going to tell you all something. When I was a kid, I used to dance to this song with my mom every Mother's Day. Oh, I'm leaving. There you go. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Mom, I love you. Miss Jenny Casey. My wife, I love you, Gear Casey. All the moms out there, I love you. Let's go. Oh, this is a Ciroc mix. Ciroc sponsors and supports the moms, too. Shout out to all the moms out there. Shout out to all the moms. Now, some of the moms tweeted me. Go ahead. Jesus, how old is Emmy? <laughs> That's an old joint my mom used to listen to. <laughs> I think the intruders or the temptations are one of them sing that song. Who the hell are the intruders? Old school group. And shout out to Janice Jasmine. She wants to shout out her mama, Sharon. Okay. Yeah, no, happy Mother's Day to uh, my man Diz's mom, Miss Collins. Happy Mother's Day to... How about um, to your own mom, Charlamagne? Happy Mother's Day to my mom in Mount Corner, South Carolina. Happy Mother's Day to the mother of my child. Happy Mother's Day... What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> no, none of your business. Uh, happy Mother's Day to um, Geeks. You know, man. All jokes aside, to all the ratchet ass moms whose kids called them by their first name and called their grandma mommy, Happy Mother's Day, man. Y'all don't get enough credit. To you should have played bands and make a dance. Yeah, I'm man. disappointed in you and me. I did. I Listen, played a little bit of it. To all the ratchet moms who roll blunts in front of their kids and ask their four year olds to grab that grape swisher for them, Happy Mother's Day to all y'all too. Oh, man. And Happy Look. Mother's Day to my mommy. Listen, and all the hoes on Love and Hip Hop New York, Atlanta, basketball wives with kids, Happy Mother's Day, man. And a big special happy Mother's Day shout out to all the teen moms, especially you, Farrah. I seen your sex tape, boo. Pop that boo oh, down for a good one. Happy Mother's Day, home. I love the back door, day to something like this. Teen mom, back door, teen mom, back door, whatever it's called. The, t the porno? Yeah, something, something back Something like that. Oh, yeah. my god. But happy Mother's Day to her, man. Happy Mother's Day to y'all hoes. Those won't get enough credit. Mm. But for real, happy Mother's this Day to crazy. all. Hold on, hold on. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there that do not have the father around, that are doing a great job as a single mother, raising your children, your child on your own. You might as well just say God bless 90% of the black community. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Happy Mother's Day to don't you, and continue to do great things and don't take care of your kids. Ass. Shout out to all my niggas. <laughs> stupid, yo. This guy's stupid, yo. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Again. Enjoy your weekend. Shout out to my mom, Janet Casey. Shout out to my Aunt V. Shout out to my Woo! wife, Kia. Enjoy the weekend. I got to get my mom a gift. I haven't got my mom a gift yet. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers who still don't know who the father of their children is. Stop are. that. <laughs> Call the 105 Happy right Mother's now. Day to all the moms out there that pin their child on somebody who had the most money. There you oh. go. There you were smart. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Call the 105 right now. 800-585-1051. <laughs> I need a mom to call right now that you, if you love Kelly Rowland, I got some tickets to see Kelly Rowland and the Dream at the Best Buy Theater. If you need that in your life, call right now. Those tickets are yours. Cherry Martinez is up next. Is your next chance to see Beyonce <laughs> out in New Orleans. That'll be a perfect Mother's Day gift. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that's going to be dancing at Sin City and Perfections and Suits oh, this weekend. Goodness. Happy Mother's Day. Jersey Girls on Sunday. Oh, my goodness. Happy Mother's Day to all y'all scribbles. And now, if you want to see Fabulous and Floyd Mayweather, our interview with them, hit up the website, power1051fm.com, keyword breakfast club. You can definitely check that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and happy Mother's Day, Oh, too. my goodness. It just doesn't stop. Go no, ahead. to Envy, because we actually have a baby shower to attend. You have another child on the way, so happy Mother's Day to Gia. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to her. Yes. And Charlamagne, you know, stop the music. Yesterday I got on Charlemagne because he didn't want to come to the baby shower. He says he's a man and men don't come to the baby shower. I said, if you don't come to the baby shower, you at least buy the stroller. And, you know, the stroller was $1,100. And when I got off here yesterday, yeah, the, the applause ready? The stroller was purchased. So I'm assuming Charlemagne bought the stroller. Y'all know I ain't got that kind of money. You didn't buy it? No. I drive, the music. I drive a 2004 Cadillac Escalade. You didn't buy I the stroller? I got the heat fix. I don't got it that wasn't you the stroller. The stroller cost more than his car. I don't have that kind of money. Well, at least buy the car seats. You can buy the car seats. I don't know what you're talking about. And happy Mother's Day to our board up MEZ. He's got a lot of babies in his butt. <laughs> you know what? And that, you know what? I, I don't have anything else to say after that. Round of applause. Charlamagne. Breakfast club, bitches. <laughs>